Magandang Hapon or good afternoon from Manila. Today we are going to be checking out the ultra modern version of Manila by going to the area called BGC which is apparently the kind of business area district that at one point used to be a US military base. I think that was back in 1995 but nowadays it is covered in tall skyscrapers, expensive luxury brands, all the different kinds of food you could ever want including Japanese, Filipino, European, everything and uh, yeah it's gonna be a lot different to the places that we've been exploring so far. Uh, it's gonna be actually the complete opposite to be honest but the first mission of the day is to find ourselves an e-scooter. Right so somewhere around here is apparently two scooters that we're gonna get on. I believe it's probably over there where those bikes are or over there somewhere. But I've just seen this uh, the first art sculpture of the day. This lovely tree. I, I just love the fact that they have taken the time to to put things like this in the city to make just walking around a little bit more interesting. Uh, if any of you have been to Singapore before this is probably the closest you're going to get to Singapore when you come to Manila. All the money has been put here, all of the expensive brands, all of the expensive restaurants. I cannot spot these scooters anywhere. Aha! I've spotted them, I think. Uh, I can see one at least. Right over there, it's in my sights. Scan, we got a little bit of instructions here. Scan QR code, unlock the device, wear your helmet. <laughs> I don't see a helmet anywhere. Okay. I think we're just gonna have to go without the helmet and hope for the best. Helmet. We got the scooters, trying my best not to crash with one hand, and I believe we're going in the right direction to get to the uh, high street over here. That looks like it. That should be where stuff is happening. Wow, these things go pretty damn fast. <laughs> you don't want to crash going this fast. See if we can get to top speed on this thing with one hand. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this guys. Straight away towering skyscrapers. Look at that. Lovely uh, fishing boat sculpture over there. There's just stuff to look at everywhere you look around here. We have found the high street. See if I can get up here without dying. There we go. Gotta be careful here, don't uh, don't bang into anybody. Hello, Marble high. <laughs> wow. It's like this nice little uh, park area in the centre. We've got various restaurants on the left to chill out in the shade. And we've got a nice little uh, outdoor seating area over here with benches. Here we are, we've made it to the centre of uh, BGC High Street. Let me just stop the scooter a second, show you around. Wow. It's kind of like uh, Manila's answer to Times Square, I guess you would call it. You can see how much money has been put into this place. Just skyscrapers. They put uh, benches down. And everybody's out enjoying themselves on the weekend. I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be a little bit busier than this, but I guess that's a good thing because we can uh, get around without bumping into people. I think it's time to try and find a drink or something to eat. And it looks like this is the place to go over here. I'm going to park the scooter for a second. I'm going to leave this right here. And we're going to go try and find ourselves a little drink. We got fruit smoothies over here. Or is that lemon? That's lemonade, I think. I think I've had enough lemonade recently. This is looking good. I think this is the choice. Mabu hai. Kamustaka. You good? Uh, yes, please. Uh, Isa. Yeah. Salamat. Best strawberry shake in BGC? The best, the very best. I can't wait. Fresh strawberries. Wow. What's next? What are we putting in? Ice? Milk? Wow. 
Masala mat. <laughs> then we're gonna blend it all up. Here we go. Strawberry shake is from Benguet. From where? Benguet, Baguio. Benguet? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's come a long way then. I <laughs> Eight hours? Yeah. Wow. This strawberry shake has come eight hours to be consumed by me. Salamat. Right, is it 100? Yeah? Yeah. There you go. You. Salamat. Salamat. Have a good day. Let's go sit down in the shade because I am sweating. Salamat. <laughs> and uh, we'll give this little shake a taste. It's been a while since I've had a, a strawberry milkshake actually. And apparently these, these strawberries have come eight hours. So I'm expecting a very well seasoned strawberry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't see her put any sugar in this, but it is really sweet. That might be something to do with the, uh, the milk that she put in. I'm not sure if it was normal milk or condensed milk. Probably condensed milk, but wow. This is a good start to the day, I'm telling you that. Oh, yes. Right, I would say I'm gonna down this, but it is way too cold and I don't wanna get brain freeze. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy my strawberry milkshake, and then we're gonna continue on the scooters and try and find some food or maybe some sort of entertainment. It sounds like, sounds like there's something uh, crazy going on over there. Finished. That was delicious. Salamat, Ati, Mazarap. <laughs> best in best strawberry milkshake in BGC. <laughs> what have we got going on over here? Looks like we've got like a an outdoor exercise session. We're gonna we're gonna join in on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salamat. We're standing up and marching now. Everybody, listen up, listen up. Yeah. Got the bed. Yeah. Step one, it your right foot. My booty! <laughs> Let's do some rolls. Right, I think I'm done. I'm too sweaty now. Bring that to the back. Salam. Awesome. Awesome. Anyone watching twice? Salam out, brother. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's do some core workouts one more time. Oh my God. I'm so hot. What a way to start the day. A full <laughs> workout in the center of BGC in the scorching heat. That guy had so much energy, it's unreal. I think I've worked up an appetite now, so uh, we need to find somewhere to go find a snack. I'm just kind of going around in a circle at the moment in this uh, central circular area, trying to get some breeze in my face to cool down. Crossing the road here, it looks like I have found a pop-up uh, street food or something. Pop-up street. Oh, okay. We're getting we're getting more into the uh, commercial area here. We're getting Starbucks, we're getting Speedo, Fila, Puma, a little Doggo House. Oh, that's a great name, Doggo House. <laughs> okay, so we've got Pop Up Street here. I'll be honest though, it's looking a little bit empty. Uh, I'm seeing like one thing in here, which doesn't look very open. We've got a little. Uh, oh, we got a donut shop. That is actually quite tempting. Or we 
have this cool looking VW bus over here selling uh, coffee mugs. I think we're gonna have a little look at this donut place. Wow, these are some wow. intense donuts. Kamustaka, Abu Hai. How are you? I'm very hot. <laughs> uh, wow, you've got lots of choice. So all our donuts these are, are sourdough based and uh -huh. flour responsibly sourcing agents. Responsibly donuts, sourced? Yes. Wow, and okay. All our donuts are handcrafted. Wow. Handcrafted? Really? Instead of sauce, please, patis. Patis is fish sauce. Fish sauce? Yes. On a donut? Wow. <laughs> what's, is, what's your favorite one? Right, what okay. You, uh, uh, my favorite is chocolate Nutella. Uh, Chocol chocolate Nutella, okay. Uh, homemade Nutella inside and homemade chocolate Nutella. Okay. And then peanut pieces, dark strawberries, and grapes. So much choice wow. to get. That sounded good until you said fish sauce. Salted I don't know about that. <laughs> Does it taste of fish sauce? Yeah, it's like salted caramel. Okay. Salted caramel. I'll take. Yeah, that sounds good. Issa, one of them, please. Hi. Anong pangalang mo? Sophia. Sophia. Ah. And, oh, wait. Ako Ano si. Ako si Josh. Ako si Connor. <laughs> Almost said ano eater then. A anong pangalang mo? Tana. 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 B-E-F-E. Ah, Tana. Shall I say the long one? Ikinig agalaka kupo kayang makalala. That's his. That's the hard one. That's his party trick. That's my party trick, yeah. How long has this place been open for? Um, almost two years. Almost, almost three years. Two years. Okay. How many uh, donuts do you sell per day? Um, 100 to 200. 200? Wow. And how many do you, how many do you make, you said you hand make them? Sorry? You say you make them by hand? Uh, yes, sir. How many do you make in, a, in like a one batch? Um, Hundreds. 500. 500. Wow, you must be making donuts for hours. <laughs> I'm going to be... Right, I mean, there's, so there's awesome. my, uh, for the, for the yeah. honey glazed. Yeah. Salamat. There you go. You can keep the change, don't worry about that. Change. Salamat. That is I'm going to go salamat. sit outside now and uh, try your donut. And I'll come back in and tell you how it is. <laughs> salamat. Right, so I've gone for the honey glazed donut, which apparently has patis, or patis which translates to fish sauce. Now, if you don't know what fish sauce is, it's a very uh, salty sauce that's used in Asian cooking a lot. So when I heard that, I was a little bit like, uh, <laughs> not put off, but it, a little bit intrigued, let's put it that way. They've assured me that you, it doesn't taste like fish sauce, so let's give this a go. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. It's actually been probably years since I've had a donut because once I have one I just can't stop eating them this is amazing they said it's all made with sourdough uh, responsibly sourced which is a lovely bonus mm. it's just as you imagine it to taste really it's honey it's glazed and thankfully it doesn't taste like fish sauce comparing this to like a crispy cream glazed donut. This is 100% better. It's way softer, way more chewy. It's actually not too sweet as well, which sometimes when you get a donut, it can be a little bit overpowering. As you can see, this is going down very nicely. Perfect. <laughs> this is gonna sound like I'm exaggerating. I think that was one of the nicest donuts I've ever eaten. I just love the fact that it wasn't too sweet. I think I could have eaten probably multiple of them. Salamat, that was delicious. If you haven't ordered yet, get the honey glazed one, it's really good. Everybody needs to check out Rogue Donuts on social media. Have a good day, guys. I was waiting for a while there because I didn't want to interrupt people's uh, orders. But uh, we're going to keep going. And I think we're going to head to Market Market to get some food. You made some friends? Yes. Hi. We just asked Hello. Their opinion on the, the area. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Philippines. Thank you. Are you visiting here or are you already here? We are. We're visiting. We're going to be here for the next week. Yeah. One week left. And we are. And then we'll be going we are down vlogging. to Cebu. Oh, Cebu. Some engineering in Cebu. 
some what, sorry? Canyoneering. Canyoneering. Yeah, we're Ooh. doing that, yeah. Oh, yes, we will, like, jump in, yeah. I've just decided I'm, I'm for him we're doing that. Height, so I'll be, <laughs> I'll be, you'll be fine. I'll be fine, yeah. I, I don't like jumping from high places. Anung Pangalang Mo. What? Anung Pangalang Mo. I'm Chris. I'm going to do my Chris. Uh, I go see Josh. I go see Connor. 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 Nice to meet you all. Mali it uh, Tagalog. Mali it not Tagalog. Koonti. Koonti. Koonti Tagalog. Ah, I'm learning. I'm getting better. How old are you all? I'm 22. 22 or somewhere? Early 20s. Early oh, 20s. you're so young. So you've, you've left uni or you university or? Yeah, you we're still in university. Graduate, ah, okay. graduating. Sorry? Ah, graduating. 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 Yeah. What, what did you, you study? Medical technology. Oh, oh wow. Got a doctor here. Yeah, and you? Same. All the same. All the same. All the same. Medical wow. doctor. Very clever people then. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we'll leave you to it. Yes, have a good Thank day guys. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I've got a sweaty <laughs> hand. <laughs> you too, have a good Thank day. Bye-bye. Some very lovely locals had a nice little chat. Looks like we've got a little bit of uh, another sculpture here called uh, Bearable Lightness. The form and colourful pattern of this work suggests a state of perpetual lightness. Climbing the top of the platform results in sensations relating to tension between gravity and weightlessness. The only issue is, is that you can't go and climb on top of it. <laughs> so, I'm sure uh, Ronald, uh, Ronald Akakaso Ak and Red Usen probably would be uh, a little bit upset about that fact because their their piece of sculpture is not getting the proper use it should do. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're coming into the third and final section of uh, BBC High Street. My oh boy. <laughs> it seems like this uh, part of the High Street seems to be like a, a green kind of chill area where you can sit down. None of it is cornered off like the uh, parts in the second and first area. And right in the center here, we have got another sculpture. I'm sure it is safe, but it doesn't look very safe. It's like a huge rock being suspended by uh, three metal poles. But yeah, so it seems like the third area. Sit down, relax, have a picnic, relax with your family, enjoy yourself. And then the second area usually seems like it would have some sort of like food and drink area in there. Didn't seem that busy today. And uh, the first area is just like shop, 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 shop till you drop. Hey bro, come on, stuck car. <laughs> Looks like we have finally, finally found uh, Market Market where we are trying to go to. It's pretty damn busy here. Okay, let's head in and uh, see if we can get ourselves some treats. Okay, we're inside now. It is absolutely wonderful to be in some aircon and straight away. It looks like we've got some uh, little street food stands here. As you can see, we've got, I think, four floors of pure entertainment. Over here, we've got all sorts of stores and shops. And if I'm not mistaken, I think most of the food is on the fourth floor. What have we got here? We've got like idle chocolates. Kamustaka. These are like uh, K idols, right? What? Are these idols? Yeah, Korean K idols. K idols. Yeah, right, K pop. Yeah. Yes, sir, like BTS, you are right? Yes, BTS. <laughs> BTS group. What's? And Blackpink. And who? And Blackpink. Blackpink. Yeah. Oh, that's like uh, Thai, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, is all the chocolate the same? Yes, sir. Okay. How much, uh, Mad Macano? Macano is three for one hundred. Three for one hundred. Okay. Okay. I will. I'll have three. Yeah. I don't know any of the idols though, so you just pick me the best ones. <laughs> which, which group, uh, Blackpink or BTS? I will take Blackpink. Blackpink. Yes. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, how are you? I'm good. Lisa. Okay, so I've got Jenny, Lisa, and Jisoo. Jisoo. Is this okay, sir? That's perfect. Okay. There you go. Thank Salamat. You, sir. Have a good day. Have a good day. Right, I am the proud owner 
of some black pink chocolate bars. I have absolutely no idea who they are or what they are. I, all I know is that when I was staying in uh, Bangkok in Thailand, there was billboards and posters everywhere for black pink. So there's some sort of a uh, Thai girl band. We got a, we got a nice amusement park over here. Filipinos love their basketball. Abu Hai. <laughs> got all sorts of shops here if you want to buy your shoes, the women's shoes. We got sunglasses. As you can see, down here, it's, it's actually really, really busy in here. I was expecting this to be like a much smaller uh, kind of street foodie kind of shopping mall, but it's actually massive. Let's have a quick look over the balcony here, see if we can get a nice view. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't know that was there. Look at this. They've got like a painting session going on down there. They've got a huge flash sale of clothes. I must have walked right past that because I walked through this uh, amusement park. We've got a cinema up there. Oh my God, look at that. They've got uh, rock climbing in the shopping mall. The shopping mall keeps getting better and better. We're going to keep going up. We're going to go up the next escalator and uh, that should put us on the fourth floor. Mr. K Wild. <laughs> K Wild on the... They've got rock climbing over there. It's crazy. I think we found it, guys. It seems like the place to go to uh, get all your food. Del delicious food items. We've got pizza over here. We've got burgers and chips. Korean food. Fried chicken. Spoiled for choice. We've got ice cream and tempura as well. I'll tell you what, whatever we do get in here, it's not gonna be healthy. <laughs> it's all lovely, delicious uh, junk food. Ooh, ramen. Hmm. We got the classic flavors. Pork, chicken, and just like in Japan, they have the plastic food. Got the beef rice bowl here, I think. I was going to get ramen, but I think I might have to get that because it does look really, really good. Do you have a, a soy-based ramen? No, it's okay. No? Okay. It's just like shoyu and stuff. Yes. Right, okay. I've decided I'm going to copy K-Wild and not get ramen. I'm getting the beef bowl right there. Can I also get the yakimiku yaki don, please? Yes. Salamat. There you go. Don't worry about the change, you keep the change. Yeah. Salamat. Right, got myself a little buzzer. Okay, so, food is ready apparently. Uh, we give you a ramen service, you give you a flyer service. Oh, you're oh, free ramen. Thank you very much. Wow, that's, nice. that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Salamat kuya. Salamat. Yes. Salamat very much, thank you. <laughs> Everybody needs to check ramen. out Ramen Menzo in Market Market Mall because but he gave us the lovely ramen. people here gave, gave us a free oh, ramen. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, brother. It. Appreciate it. Must have been for both of us. The, the, the pros of getting food, you get free food. Let's go to the corner. Go to the corner. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. We have found ourselves a little quiet spot in the corner. As you can see everybody behind us enjoying their food. We are going to do a taste test of this yakimiku don, which is, if you've never been to Japan, you know what this is, but if you haven't, it's basically rice covered in uh, sauteed beef strips. And we got maybe a little bit of uh, cabbage in there and uh, some spices, maybe some, some uh, chives. If you ever go to uh, 7-Eleven in Japan, you can get this really cheap and it's really, really tasty. So let's see how it compares to the real thing. It looks pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I'll be totally honest, it's a lot better than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Salty, savory, it's got that umami flavor to it. It's the perfect portion as well. I think if, if it was any bigger than this, it'd probably get a little bit sickly. 
So, I'm gonna finish this off, and then the kind man at the store decided to give us a free ramen on the house. I had no idea that was gonna happen. We didn't ask for it. He was very friendly, and uh, we're gonna try that out together in a minute. Is it really hot? Not too bad, not too bad actually. Going in with the pot. Wow. <laughs> It like melts in your mouth. It does melt in your mouth, yeah. That's when you know it's good. I'm honestly very surprised by how good this is. This is definitely the most authentic ramen I've had outside of Japan. Oh. It's actually really good. That egg is amazing. Yeah. Wow, you got a mouthful and a half left. <laughs> I'm not lady in the trunk in you right now. I'm definitely not doing that. Salamat, thank you. Thank you very much. Oishi, oh, oishi. <laughs> so we are now at the final spot of the day. The sun is going down in the background. And as you can see behind me here, we have got Venice Plaza. Let's go. How are you doing? Come <laughs> on, We are going to head inside. Come on, how are you doing? <laughs> I've heard rumors, well, not rumors, but I've heard there is a uh, kind of like a like a recreation of a Venice uh, canal inside this shopping mall and you can actually even hello come Mr. car <laughs> you can actually even get on a gondola and go like down through the river look at this guys we have found it Wow <laughs> oh, wow if you've ever been to Venice, I have actually been to Venice a long time ago, but it's actually uh, pretty incredible what a good job they've done recreating. I mean, look at the, look at the water. It's, it's a little bit dirty, but I mean, the colour and the gondolas just coming around for everybody to, everybody to look at. Oh, I've just noticed there's literally like no ceiling on this place. So I'm guessing up there you've got uh, hotels and maybe this thing in the middle is like some sort of like a cafe or something that you can sit in and look out at the gondolas. This is so random. <laughs> you have even got the the, uh, the old signs from McDonald's and uh, Jollibee up there. Oh my god, yeah. Yes, sir. How much is the gondola? 500 one person, sir. 500 one person? Yes. How long does it last for? 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 ride. minutes. Is this a queue? Yes, sir. Is this a queue Okay, so you get a ticket or something. Uh, you better ticket inside the mall, sir, beside the escalator. Okay. So oh, okay. Salamat. Salamat to you. Apparently, you have to get a ticket and you wait in a queue. But as you can see, there's like at least like 30 people waiting in the queue for so i think we're going to give it a pass today so it looks like we've got a little uh viewpoint here wow look at the colors you got a little uh what are they called swan down there <laughs> i want to go say hello to this uh, jester guy mustaka hey <laughs> How are you? Come on, Okay, lang. Salamat. <laughs> Two final people here. One's really tall. Wow. You're so tall. <laughs> I'll get a little selfie with you. Hey. <laughs> okay, I think we've been here far too long now. Abu hai. Hi. <laughs> we've explored the whole place. As I was saying earlier, there is a restaurant over there that you can sit in and uh, look out over the water. Oh my God, it's Woody from Toy Story and it's Spider-Man. Come on, Staka. I got a snake in my boot. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video and all the madness that happened, it was a long one. But if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit subscribe, drop a like on the video and uh, hit that bell button and I will see you in tomorrow's video.